What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed. This is going to be a quick vlog a la Sean the Book Maniac. And like Sean the Book Maniac, I am getting a head start on the Women in Translation Readathon. In fact, um, up until today, I didn't really plan to participate. I was going to do one of the prompts, which was to read something, translate it from a language you've never read something translated from. Um, and I'm down to two choices for that. So for that, I am going to wait, like I'll make my choice tomorrow on Saturday when the readathon starts. I'll purchase that on my e-reader most likely. Um, so I'm still doing that, but I realized that today the two books I'm reading are Women in Translation, and at least one of them fits some of the prompts for this readathon. So um, I'll just tell you about those two books really quickly. So the first one is uh, Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead, which has got to be the title of the year. Um, this is by uh, Olga Tokarczuk, and it is translated from Polish. So this is a advanced review copy. Uh, this comes out from Fitz Corraldo editions uh, in Europe, I think in a couple of days or maybe a week, and then it doesn't come out here until February. But I was very kindly sent this by a book blogger, Bookish Beck, who, um, well, she did not like flights and she knew that I did. So she received this and asked me if I wanted it. I said, hell yeah. And so far it is so good. I mean, you know, I, I shouldn't be surprised, but I am because it's so good, but it's so different from Flights. Like, Flights is basically a semi-autobiographical collection of essays, sh short stories, snippets, just like weird stuff all mashed together. Whereas, um, you know, this one is much more of a traditional novel, but it's still really fucking weird, <laughs> like in the best way. Uh, it's sort of a... Um, seems to be veering towards a crime novel now, but it's it's basically about this lady in her 60s who's pretty much a hermit and she lives along with a couple of other hermits in this remote village in Poland and it's winter and it's dark and creepy things are happening and she's just really, like, she's very into astrology. Um, she, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think I can really describe it until I've read the whole thing, but just like flights, I've read nothing like it. It's blowing my mind. It is amazing. Now, unfortunately, I don't think this one is going to satisfy any of the prompts for the readathon, but I'm just going to read it anyway. Um, the other one I'm reading is on my phone, so I can't show you because that's what I'm filming with, but it's called Tolstoy, Rasputin, Others, and Me, The Best of Teffy. So Teffy was a really famous Russian writer in the 1920s and 30s, although she was living in exile by then. Um, and then she seems to have been kind of forgotten, but a bunch of her books are put out by NYRB. Um, I read Memories last year, I think, and uh, first heard about her on the Reading Envy podcast, which if you're not listening to, you should be. Um, so Memories is all about her leaving Russia and, you know, during the revolution and all of that. This book is a collection of uh, essays from you know, from childhood onwards. Um, so it's satisfying actually two prompts. One is the read something that's not a novel. So this is definitely not a novel. Um, and the second is to read something about childhood. And while the whole thing isn't about childhood, there's several essays at the beginning that are. So I'm counting it. Um, and then for the other two prompts, I talked about this in a previous video, or no, I think in a blog post. So I'll link that. Uh, but the other two prompts are to read something with red on the cover and to read something translated from a language that you've never read something translated from before. So I've got two books I'm considering for that last one, which is the only one I was planning to do. One is Soviet Milk, which is translated from the Latvian, and the other is Purge, which is translated from the Finnish. Now Soviet Milk also has red on the cover, so it would satisfy both. But having read the Kindle samples of both, Purge is the one that really grabbed my attention. So I guess I should read both, right? Uh, like the chances of me finishing all four of these books in the next week is basically nothing. Um, but I can try. And I, yeah, I'm going to try to do some more of these vlogs as we go because that just seems to be the thing to do. And um, I'll be watching all of yours as well.